remember the first song when I arrived in Barcelona in 2011. There was a gig that my friend Dema organized. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it because I think he had an operation to undergo and uh, he couldn't make it, which was a very big shame because yeah. he organized everything and we were playing and producing together at the time. I was staying with uh, Federico Grazzini, checked in and then we, we went around. This was the first place that I visited in Barcelona. Richard Houghton was having his show just here in the corner and I never seen anything like that. I mean, it was a very simple setup, but it was so involving. What I, what I thought was really interesting was the the fact that you, you had a, a table with a mixer and uh, you know all the setup and then you had fruits and vegetables now right there. Do. You could be here on the, on the market buying a fruit or just having a walk and, and all of a sudden you have this you know big base coming from somewhere there and all of a sudden you see so many people right there you know enjoying dancing having a beer very chill afternoon thing I really love afternoon parties because you know it allows uh, better interaction with I've never actually seen a, a proper tuna in my life, like the, the fish itself, without being cut. It's quite interesting how music can make you live a place in a different way than any other person would. I live in Barcelona because of Sona, which is a totally different way than any other person would live it. You know, some tourists that come, I don't know, maybe they come from Japan, they come here because of Gaudi. They want to or see... because of Barca. Oh, oh, because of Barcelona, <laughs> because of Barcelona. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it is. So, and they will, they will inhabit and live certain places in the city, which uh, obviously are linked to that uh, reality, to that world. <laughs> Coffee shop, my one hashish, about all to people who are making an interview. parks I ever seen so far. I came here probably four years ago, first time. I decided to come here today because in my university project this was one of the sites of where I'm essentially synthesizing musical forms into uh, three-dimensional parametric uh, forms. Uh, this was one of the testing sites where uh, these forms, these performances would take place. You see, this is a technique called the Trencadis that was used by Gaudi in many of his works. And what I find interesting about it, and I can relate with music and music production, is that it's obviously using different bits and pieces that has been collected from different sources, putting them together into a, into one unique composition. It feels pretty strange being here after I have designed and uh, model, 3D modeled this place for literally the whole year at university. I wonder what a party would be like in this kind of space. Obviously offers quite some atmosphere and also in terms of resonance what music would resonate like. And these are the kind of spaces that I really like to visit because they are obviously culturally very rich. Architecturally speaking they are quite unique. Before I play any set I like to get some ideas of what are the cultural aspects of our space but also um, generally for production somehow I can relate the, the naturalness or the artificiality of certain spaces and kind of try to translate it into, into my musical compositions. And also what I find very interesting about this space in particular is the contrast between the very polished uh, columns versus the very natural raw essence of the stone itself. So after this little tour we're going to we're going to eat something, possibly some tapas and some sangria and then getting ready for the party tonight. It should be quite good at City Hall. I absolutely love this city.
easily one of my favorite cities in the world so far that I've seen and I'm always happy to be back. The first time I was booked at City Hall was in 2015 by Hex and Phone. It was a really great party and the guys were super nice. I was welcomed really warmly. I have two turntables. Then I have a sampler here where uh, I essentially I record everything that's playing so I can loop it. Everything runs on Tractor. Then I have it on a controller here. Then I'm running uh, Ableton Live together with Tractor so that I have a drum machine with this very old uh, Akai. There's a clap here. And uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Barcelona always had some great surprises for me. Very unexpected things that happened, such as my booking at the drum corps at Loveland in 2016. And then I came back to play in September for another show with a demo back to back. Tonight is uh, Tuesday night, so I have no idea how it's going to be like, as the previous parties were always on weekends, but I heard that City Hall is always great and I was quite busy, so I really look forward to be back and uh, yeah, I'm quite excited to play again here.